making a mule bow before the Eucharist, being at two places at once, and calling a thousand fish to arise from the ocean to hear a sermon. These are just some of St. Anthony of Padua's miracles. But did you know that he also raised the dead? And what then is he willing to do for you? Howdy, and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca, and before we embark on this journey, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on all our inspiring stories. And if you haven't already, consider joining our Child of Mary program. By becoming a member, you'll receive four jaw-dropping gifts, which I'll tell you about later in this video. As today's true story goes, a murder was committed near the house of the father of St. Anthony, Don Martin de Bouillon and the corpses was thrown into his garden so that suspicion would fall upon him. The nobleman was in fact accused of the murder. He was thrust into prison, and a long and painful trial began. At that time, St. Anthony was at the monastery in Padua. When he was informed of his father's situation while in prayer one day, he immediately begged permission from his religious superiors to excuse himself from the monastery for just a few days. After receiving permission, he started the long 1,200-mile journey to Lisbon. After traveling a few hours, he suddenly found himself miraculously transported to Lisbon. Imagine how grateful he must have been to arrive in time to defend his father. At once, he went to the place where the court was in session and began to plead his poor father's cause. The judges, although they were struck by the eloquence and cleverness of this strange priest, could not be convinced of the innocence of the accused. So St. Anthony demanded that the body of the murdered man be exhumed for questioning. The judges and the people were astonished. As soon as the coffin was visible, St. Anthony commanded the deceased in the name of God to bear witness before the judges present as to whether his father was a murderer or not. The corpse at once obeyed and sitting up replied, Don Martin de Bouillon, is not my murderer. The youth then entreated St. Anthony to give him absolution for his sins, which his sudden death had deprived him of. And after receiving absolution, he quietly died again. St. Anthony immediately disappeared, and the judges and people began to shout, A miracle! A miracle! A great miracle! And so St. Anthony proved his father's innocence and set him free. And the next day, St. Anthony was back in Padua. What a miracle! And here's my question for you. If St. Anthony is able to raise the dead for his father, what is he able to do for you? Do you have a loved one who is ill or who, worse yet, has left the faith? Join our Novena to St. Anthony. Are you struggling to find work or an income to provide for your family? Maybe you suffer from anxiety, fear, or doubt amid the confusion of our world. Or suffer from a vice or bad habit that you just can't conquer? I encourage you to join our Novena to St. Anthony. Trust in him, and he can work wonders for you. St. Anthony has a reputation for finding the lost, defending the innocent, and working miracles in general. In fact, real testimonials have been submitted to America Needs Fatima's St. Anthony Oratory website, proving that St. Anthony is still very much at work today. In one testimonial, a woman's daughter had not spoken to her for six months. But after lighting a seven-day candle to St. Anthony, her daughter called, and they were reconciled. In another, a Lutheran was given a St. Anthony prayer card by a Catholic friend, promptly found her lost wedding ring, and became a fervent believer. A mother left a testimonial saying after two years of her children not speaking to each other, they came together to celebrate Easter and were reconciled. She also found a wedding stone that had been lost for two months. Another said that she could not go a day without asking St. Anthony's intercession, as he helped her overcome health issues and alcoholism for her son. And there are many, many more stories, but I'll leave you with this final testimonial. St. Anthony's humility amazes me in that he attends his power to me several times a day for the little things. I must exhaust him. He is 
always there for me. If these souls put their trust in St. Anthony and it was rewarded in these ways, let's also put our trust in him. Give his novena a try and see what wonderful works that he has in store for you. Now, remember when I mentioned earlier about joining our Child of Mary program? By becoming a member, you will receive four jaw-dropping gifts. Not only will you receive an ebook, the Book of Confidence, you will also receive a full subscription to Crusade Magazine. You will receive a beautiful metal lapel pin featuring a beautiful image of Our Lady. And most importantly, a daily mass will be said in your name. Yes, every single day, your name will be lifted up in prayer during mass. And the best part, as long as you're a member, you will continue to receive these gifts and have masses said for you day after day, year after year. We have a special intention for our liturgy today, for our mass. America needs Fatima's children of Mary. And especially, uh, we offer this divine liturgy for Lucy Cosgrove, for Matthew Long, for Mary Wyman, for Lisa Gibson, for Sarah. Just click the link in the description box below to become a child of Mary today and embark on this spiritual journey with us. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a Child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a Child of Mary. God love you.